Oh, it's going to be one of those days. One of those days. I'm sure you say that at least twice, three times a week. Oh, it's going to be one of those days. Ooh, one of those days. Stepping through the moment, our minds make up excuses to go only so far and then complain about it. Complain about not getting what it is that we think we deserve. I, I had to go to the dictionary. The definition of complain is the significant gap between expectation and reality. Most people complain because it gains access into a perspective. We use words to share our feelings. As a daily writer, I've put many complaints on these pages. Very rarely does it make me feel any better. If anything, it serves as fuel to continue my negative energy. Recognizing the mindset should send a signal to the heart to say, let go. You need to step free of the reasons why you feel you need to complain. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. There are many complaints that are justified. But now that you've identified the gap, what are you going to do about it? A collector of complaints is a deliverer of energy that can easily infect another person's walk and way into their brand new day. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I use words as a way of trying to understand the processes that we put ourselves through, even when we're having one of those days. How are we going to get through this day? Should I just stop writing? Should I set everything aside and then complain about it when it takes just as much energy to put the nib of a writing instrument on a page? Doesn't mean you have to complain. Go the opposite direction. If you're feeling angst, be happy. It uses the same amount of energy. This is The Daily Mess. Broken days. When what you're used to doing is replaced by other plans. Oh, we've got some daily habits. And oh, when they are interrupted, ooh, we easily become mm, when things don't feel like what we're used to doing. I'm guilty of trying to rush through the moment to get back to what I know. A broken day unfolds when all that you agreed to do off the normal path takes up the space often used as rest, writing, and other outlets. I feel like my broken days really kind of make my stomach feel bad. And again, that's the act of awareness, and meditation gives me steps that I can take to calm the hell down. I tell myself, hey look, I understand. You know, I'm willing to listen. Today's not going to be like your normal day. You agree to do something, and, and now you've got to live up to it because you said you would. You don't want to be that other person that doesn't live up to their word. There's got to be a collaboration between what you want to do and what you have to do. And here are the two words that I always go to. Compassion and compromise. A broken day. When you know that what you always do on a Tuesday or a Friday or a Saturday, when all the things that you are so used to doing are not going to happen today because you agreed to do something else, a broken day, compassion, let that inner soul hear that I understand, I understand. We'll make it up somewhere along the way and maybe today you'll, you'll discover a new song or, or you'll hear somebody smile. Not hear them laugh, but hear them smile. I have compassion for you. But the compromise is, is that you've got to work with me. For this day to happen, I know we're totally off guard here, but for this day to happen, that over there had to take place. Compassion and compromise. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.